Hey, Colin. Um, just with Will, where is his command of the offense relative to what you would typically expect out of a, a true freshman that didn't have spring practice at this point in his career? Well, I think he's he's done a tremendous job, and I think it's uh, for the phase that he's in, uh, extremely well along. I mean, you know, he he's managed the huddle and, and managed a lot of the things we're doing uh, extremely smoothly and 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 in a very mature manner, and you know, he's made plays, and and uh, you know, it's uh, you know, it's it's a hard situation, you know, for him too, just without having spring practice and with the limited number of snaps, but. You know what? He's competing his butt off, and he's he's preparing his butt off. So, uh, you know, we're just working to improve every day. Did you feel like Skyler was really playing the best football of his career, and and just how tough of an adjustment is that to make as a staff for you guys on the fly? You know, I I know Skyler had gotten better. I mean, you know, he had really done some nice things and 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 made some uh, you know some uh, improvements. You know, over the first few weeks, I think. Uh, his pocket presence, uh, you know, this year compared to last year, and, and even as the season has gone on this year, was was really improving and, and making some throws, and uh, you know, down the field under duress, you know, being able to be accurate and bring that post across the field a little bit more, and, and just doing some great things. And, and it was uh, obviously a heartbreaking deal. Um, you know, they're, they're different players. Um, it's not not fair to put either one in you know in the other shoes, but. Uh, you know, we, the, the offense is, is still going to be the one that, and the thing that if everyone does their job produces, uh, you know, the ability to spread the football around and, and get a lot of people's hands on it and, and try to create some space and, and, you know, and make things happen. And, uh, you know, we, uh, I think the offense will do that with both or has done that with both those guys. Thanks, Colin. No problem. Kellis. <clears throat> Hey, Colin, what, what have your conversations been like with Skyler since he got injured? Oh, just just making sure he's he's doing okay and, and, and you know, obviously on, uh, on the road to recovery, really. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I can't even, I can't even put into words just, you know, how much your heart breaks for, uh, you know, what, what he's gone through and, uh, you know, the, uh, just, just the injury. And, and I, I uh, say I pray for him every day and, and talk to him every, you know, pretty much every day. And, and uh, just uh, my heart's with him and all of our hearts are with him. So. I guess at some point he'll have to decide whether he wants to come back or move on. If, if he decides he wants to go the unusual route of six years here, is that something you'd, you'd welcome? You know, right now, I mean, it's, it's about him getting healthy and, and us finishing this season strong. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when, you know, when, when we get there, it's, it's a little ways down the road, so. Fair enough. Um, switching gears to Howard, how much of the offense can he handle right now? I know he's just a freshman, but how much of the playbook has he absorbed at this point? I mean, he, he's done a tremendous job. I think, you know, extremely cerebral player um, has studied, um, like I said, he's studied his butt off. I don't think you know, operationally, I don't think there's anything that's, you know, that's off the table or that we don't feel like he can, uh, you know, operate. I think uh, more than anything, it's just him getting those experience with, with live bullets and, and the speed of the game and, and the speed of the decision making and uh, all those types of things with, with you know, that, that just comes with time and, and experience. I don't think it's a not knowing it thing. I think it's just a getting used to the speed of the game, you know, and, and, and he'll, uh, he got better, I think, through the game uh, on Saturday, and 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 he'll get better this week and 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 every week beyond. Derek, hey, coach. Uh, so what, Howard's balls have kind of come out a little funny, maybe a little wobbly. Is that more about him just needing to kind of trust what he sees and catch up to the speed of the game? Yeah, I, I think that's a big part of it. I think you know when you know when you start thinking. Um, a lot or, or your process and the, you know, the, the speed of things. I think you start to aim the ball and instead of just letting it rip and then, you know, your feet die and, uh, you know, you don't get your weight transfer and, and, and things behind it. So it's, you know, it, it's a chain reaction, but it's just, again, part of, part of working it and drilling it and, you know, and, and, and the more he plays, you know, he's, uh, you know, he'll do just fine. I guess what are some of I guess what drew you guys to Will Howard immediately from just a performance standpoint and what and stuff that you've already seen so far in his early in his career? Well, I, I think, you know, it, it goes back to, you know, when we started recruiting him. I mean, uh, you know, just 
so impressed with with how he carries himself and uh, his demeanor and 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 obviously, uh, you know, he, he's a winner. You know, and 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 really the way what he was able to do in high school and and carry that team as as far as they've been in a in a long long time and and the way he did it and and his humility and um, you know is uh, is is tremendous. You know, and and obviously how he's come in here and. And such a short time with, with with very limited reps and, and experience through the spring, still being able to, uh, you know, earn earn everything he's gotten, you know, and and, and that's a big part of it, and earning the respect and trust of his teammates, and uh, you know, it was, it has really been impressive, you know, and and but uh, he knows and and we know that uh, it, it's a long journey, you know. I mean, he's done some great things and 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 is doing tremendous, you know. Couldn't couldn't be more pleased, but. At the same time, there's a lot on the table that, that he's hungry and, and excited for and, and that we all need to strive to, to improve. Got time for a few more. We'll go Fitz, Adam, and then Ryan. Go ahead, Fitz. Hey, Coach. Um, since everyone's covered the Will Howard ground pretty well, uh, how valuable is it right now to have a guy like Nick Ost that it's in the system and, and ready to play? Invaluable. You know, and, and it's – uh, Nick does a tremendous job. I mean, there, there's not a, uh, I mean, there's probably not a guy in our program that, that has worked harder, you know, and, and it's, he's been throwing balls after practice uh, darn near every practice since, since he got here three or four years ago, you know, and, and it's uh, to see his improvement to where he is now. And, uh, you know, from, from, what, from where he came in is, uh, is a credit to him. And again, what he's earned and, and, and worked for and, um, you know, having a guy that's, that's been in the program for, for that amount of time and, and put in the work and, you know, uh, it's, you know, if heaven forbid anything happens, you know, for him to be able to, to step up and, uh, you know, is, is, is big. And how has he handled the fact that he was the backup last year and suddenly this year he's been the three, now he's back to the backup, but that, that can't be easy for an upperclassman. You know, I, obviously, I know everyone in, in my room and everyone in our building is, is extremely competitive and, and wants to get on the field, and, and you wouldn't want it any other way, you know. Um, you know, but, but again, at the same time, the, you know, the team is, uh, is, is more important than any of us, and, and the program is, uh, is more important. And so whoever is, uh, earns and, and, and does the best, and, you know, that's just kind of our job as coaches is, is to provide that competition and, and, and make the best decision we can with, with the work that they've done and, and what they've put on the practice field. And, um, you know, he, he understands that and has worked hard and, and is ready, you know, and, and, and you never know how it goes. And whenever your opportunity and, and whenever the door opens for you, you better, you better be ready to walk through there, not thinking about when or how it should. Thanks, Coach. Adam? Colin, uh, you've coached Skyler and you've coached some quarterbacks at Northern Iowa. Out of your experience of coaching quarterbacks, what is something that you would say is special about Will Howard? Ooh, um, you know, I've been, been fortunate. Every every player, you know, that, that, that you coach is, is a little bit different and, and unique in their own right. Um, you know, I think, I think Will's – uh, you know, maturity is at, su at such a young age and, and his just calm poise is, uh, is, is very impressive, you know, and, and to go in there and in the last two ball games and some of the situations that he's been in, um, you know, he hasn't wavered and, and he's been calm and he's been poised and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been impressive. Last one here, Ryan. Hey, Colin, I guess we've kind of asked about every other quarterback at this point. And so I'm, I'm just wondering where does, with, with Skyler's injury, where does this leave Jaron Lewis in terms of, I mean, will he get more reps of practice now? And is there any chance he could push Nick for the, the number two spot? You know, he, he is, he is getting more reps in practice just in that, you know, three spot. Um, you, you know, we're, it, it's a day to day, week to week deal. I mean, it's, it's competitive every day and, and try to make it that way. And, um, you know, I think uh, as of now, I mean, one and two is is pretty established. But uh, again, we're you know taking it every day to day and, and week to week.